Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Welcome to this section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor where we're going to learn about the sum to product identities. In the last section we did product to sum identities, here we're doing sum to product. So it's going to look very similar. We'll write them on the board, we'll solve some problems, and show you how to handle these identities, which are not that commonly used, but definitely are used some of the time. So here we have sum to product identities, like this. All right, so if we have sine of just some angle A plus sine of some angle B, which is very common to have two sines of two different angles summed together, you can rewrite that as 2 times the sine of a plus b over 2, the angle is a plus b over 2, times the cosine of a minus b over 2. So again, you're going from sum to the product of two, uh, of two trig functions. So you'll see some symmetry here. Sine of a minus sine of b is equal to 2 times the cosine of a plus b over 2 times the sine of a minus b over 2. So the only real difference between these two is that this sine changed to a cosine and this cosine changed to a sine. Alright, now for the next set we'll have cosine a plus cosine b and that's going to be equal to 2 times the cosine of a plus b over 2 times the cosine of a minus b over 2. And we'll see symmetry here when we do cosine of a minus cosine of b, which is negative 2. You have to put a negative here. That's the only difference with any of these guys here. Sine a plus b over 2 times the sine of a minus b over 2. So you see what we have here is a symmetry here where these guys look very similar. Cosine turns into sine, cosine turns into sine, but notice a big difference is we have a negative out in front. So these are the sum to product identities where we're either adding or subtracting sines and cosines out here, and in return we're getting products of sines and cosines over here. So that's why they're called sum to product identities. Okay, so for our first example of how to use this guy, what if we had something like sine of 6 theta, 6 times theta, plus the sine of 2 times theta. So here we have clearly two sines that are added together. So we're going to use this guy here. So it'll be 2 times the sine of a plus b over 2, which is kind of like averaging this angle really, times the cosine of a minus b over 2. Uh, now the only difference is the angles that are inside of here are really written as 2 times and 6 times an angle. We'll just handle that as we get there. So we're going to just use the identity straight out. So it's 2 times the sine of a plus b over 2. So it's 6 theta plus 2 theta over 2. All right, And then it's multiplied by the cosine of a minus b over 2, which is 6 theta minus 2 theta over 2. So that's what we have. And so at the end of the day, it'll be 2 times the sine of, this is 8 theta on the top, over 2. Cosine, this is 4 theta, over 2. And we just do a little cancellation. 2 times the sine of 4 theta, times the cosine of 2 theta. Just doing this division here. 